Then the final one is uh, inline styles. We are at the same place where the tag is. You can define the style of that particular tag using a style attribute. So the attribute is style and then you can define the different values here. So this will apply for, for example, here for the header, right? So then like we discuss different things, we discuss colors, color, use of color names, backgrounds, the background changes, uh, and then uh, some shorthand properties we have when you have multiple things to change. So there will be a shorter way to represent, we call shorthand property, right? And then we also discuss borders. Uh, and then we, we also discuss margins. And then padding, that means the spacing. Uh, when you have a content and uh, we will have a margins and then you can have a spacing. Uh, so for that, we will call the, uh, you know, paddy. So that also we have discussed. And I think finally we were discussing CSS box model. Right. Now, here's the thing. When you talk about the uh, CSS box model, uh, everything uh, we will represent, the, especially the content, you can put into a box model. So let's say you have a, some, some text there as the content. And around the text, you can have a spacing. So that's we call padding. And then you will have a border. And then you will have a margin. So all these three, all these things can be defined. So although our main focus is only for the content, so you can actually use this padding, board, and margin to arrange it. So we can put into a, what we call the box model. Now, for example, if you look at this example, right? So it says width is 300 pixels, board is 25, uh, and we say solid green. So we can see this. And then we have padding, and then we have a margin, right? So can you quickly uh, try this? And can you check the total width of the element? So let's try together. You can put some text. And then um, here we actually uh, change the div. Let's try to understand how we are going to put this. So let me show you with an example.
Yes, I got one answer from Shashi. How about the others? So let me share my screen. So I'm going to share my screen where I'm going to create a document. So this one, I'm going to say CSS2. Uh, what I have is, so let me remove this, uh, some empty style. And then within the div content, we have this, right? Right, so first of all, let me show you uh, the output. So let me save, file save. And then um, let me double click the file. And here is what I have, right? The right now I don't have anything at all. Yes, I don't have anything at all. It's just uh, some text. Right, nothing, nothing I have defined. Uh, so div is usually we call block element, right? And then uh, using styles, we can actually change the details right now. It's like this. So let me change the, the details. So I'm going to add uh, the div. So that means I'm going to change the the way that uh, the due. So the text width, I will define it as width I specify as 300 pixels. Yes. So let me put uh, save. Yes. Uh, let's refresh and see how it look like now. You see that uh, it's uh, 300 now. I hope you can see, is it clear? Now the next thing what will happen, uh, we are going to add some more, right? We will add a border. So now we are going to add a border. That is, uh, So there's a power cut and then I have a bit of an issue of uh, showing this. Let me see. I will have to take with one screen now. Uh, let me share the screen again. So this one. Yes, uh, now we will have, yes, you can see the screen, yes. So the border, if, we, uh, if you go through this, what, I, what we are going to put is 25 pixels with solid green, right? This board is around the content right around the content so which means this one so you have 25 pixels right so that means this is also 25 this is also 25 so both sides left and right side you have 25 pixels so let's see how it goes right so let me work on this um, uh, so if you go through here so here also we have 300 
this we have limit the width then we have a border now we have defined the border so we have 25 25 both sides so let me put this we are going to say border 25 pixels solid green we are going to say 25 pixels solid green yes so this is what we have solid green then the padding padding means the spacing in between now let me show you the earlier one right so let me go back so this is what we have right let me save this file save and let me share the output of the document so we have this earlier right and then let me refresh it so now we will have a solid 25 right now so this is 300 so you have 25 25 each in the both sides the next one is paddy right so let me check uh, let me um, share the whole screen so that uh, you can see everything now this is what we have we put the border now we are going to put the padding mean the spacing right now in in this what we are going to do is padding 25 pixels now let's see how it goes so i'm going to say padding 25 pixels just when you save it if you go back now look at see i'm going to refresh it once we refresh you will see there's a another 25 pixels added around the you see now there's another 25 is added right so that means 20 25 25 each in both sides so now we have 300 the board is 25 25 padding is 25 25 right now we are going to have margin as well okay i got the power back so let me right now let me share it again so i will split the screen and then i will share right so let me share my screen too now okay i will put in two lines now you see i put a paddy now i am going to put margin so this is again 25 pixels yes when i save it now you will see here there will be a margin around the border so when i refresh it you will have a margin okay so i will ask the question again so what will be the total size total width of the element when you say div 400 everything yes to answer this one Yes, the width is, so we know the width is 300. Yes, width is 300. So that's what, and then we have added the border. So when you say border 25, 25, both sides. So that is 50 plus, then padding, Padding means the spaces with the content with the uh, the border. So that's again 50 plus. Then we have margin, another space after the, the border. That means another 50. Yes. So the correct answer should be 400 pixels. So I got uh, correct answers from Pragit, Vikum, Gihani, right? And earlier, yes, I got some answers, but I think none of the ones is correct, right? I hope now you understand how the box model works. Right, now I hope you got the idea of box model. So if, if all the elements we put inside, right? So we can actually put into box model 
and uh, and you will see that uh, depend on what values you use you get the different effects right so you should know how to handle css box models with this one actually padding and all border as well as you can change i think we have discussed these ideas earlier so you can actually again revisit and see how this will work right so having said that let's move to the next one any questions from this right the color property i think we have discussed early as well the text property uh, the color blue is represented in the three different ways i hope you are familiar the first one is with the name color names we have discussed earlier and the second one is using rgb values separately in hexadecimal format so r is 0 g is 0 and blue blue is maximum ff is represent 255 and the third one is rgb 00255 all three methods we can use then text align um, i think that also we have discussed earlier if you want i can explain to you now for example uh, let me share my screen with the screen too so having said that uh, let me put this one as well so if you put text align uh you can have different values center if you say save and if you refresh you see this is centered now everything is centered uh the default is left but you can say right if you want yes it's the right side alignment then you can also use justify which will align both the sides so i hope that you already know this right okay back to theory so that's about the alignment property i think uh, now you have seen how you can actually change this then when it comes to text uh decoration property uh you can remove decorations now for example uh, if you write a link and when you say a uh, text decoration none um you know you can remove this now for example if i take this to my example so this is what i have so let me include a link so let me say we have uh a h r e f equals www. gov.lk slash sri lanka and slash a so if i save it refresh it we will see it as a link and there's a underline so if i put uh, anchor a uh, in the style sheets and if i say text decoration none hopefully this will work you see that underline is removed right so that's what we will say text decoration then you can go to a uh, text transformation so in text transformation you can change the text now for example uh all the text if you want to convert into upper case letters you can say text transform upper case to lower case you can say lower case third one capitalize let me quickly show you there so in this case if i say now for example text
let me put text transform if i say let's say uppercase let me save it refresh it you see everything in a put into capital right so i do not think we you need uh, me to explain the others try the other possibilities yes okay uh css fonts uh, uh, careful selection of fonts is very very important when you design anything it's not only uh, the content application so there are uh, uh, what we call font families where we should think of now here we will see uh, three types of uh, fonts we call sans serif without any uh, curls and the serif where you have these curls you know you have modifications for these ones sans means no serif the serif means you have a styles like this now if you like serif uh, you will have uh, small lines at the end of some characters so some curvatures uh, some styles used there uh, so sans serif means without those right so if you want to uh, if you need a font to clearly seen from uh, at a distance i think you should prefer sans serif right most of the cases if you look at the larger fonts they don't want actually uh, the curls at the end of the character whereas if you are going to go for uh, fonts in a book reading especially uh, they need goes for serif so that is the difference so sometimes there's another third type we call monospace whereas uh, you have the characters with the same width right because uh, most of the cases uh, you know different characters have different widths but some cases you will have the same widths we call monospace right so if you look at a particular family so the fonts are belong to certain type of family uh, so when you are selecting uh, you have to think about these uh, different uh, fonts right so font family is the one we are going to use to when we are selecting a font and then you should uh, you know specify a particular font so when you are specifying a font you should uh, select couple of fonts uh, the, as the first one is your priority what you exactly you want to have then some generic font in in case we know that uh, different system you have different fonts uh because of that you have some generic family in case uh, if it is not available it will replace with something else now for example uh so in this particular case we say font family uh, the times new roman so spaces if you have spaces normally we put double quotes uh, that means if you have multiple parts in the font name otherwise you can just type the the name so times new roman is the complete name and sometimes you can have the same name uh, similar fonts as types or what exactly you need is a serif fonts right so these combinations uh, if you want to know more details like uh, you know have a look at this uh, you know font combinations so usually uh, we will not list a one particular font instead we will uh, list a, a family of fonts right then you have font style uh you know that uh, you can italic oblique you know you can give italic text then you can use font size right you know that uh, when it comes to uh, the screens we talk about these pixels that picture element that the smallest uh, um um we can say that that's uh, when you say picture elements that's the smallest scale that we can use to uh, the measure the screen so the 40 pixels means you have uh, 40 pixels so the font sizes usually you can uh, specify using absolute size like pixels or you can relative size that means normal font so usually when you take a browser the font size is usually about 16 pixels so 16 pixels is taken as 1 em meaning like that's the relative when you say one 
So here 2.5 means that means 2.5 times the default size of the font. So that's why it says relative size. So both cases are used when we are designing the font sizes. Uh, right now, so let me quickly show you a couple of things. Um, let me switch to my example. So this is my example. Uh, and then, so we will uh, change the font family. Let's uh, change it font family. Let's see how it will work. Font uh, family. And then I'm going to say uh, Times New Roman. So this is what exactly we want. If not, we will expect times or at least uh, any serif font. So this is we call serif, right? So and when you refresh it, so that will adapt here. Uh, uppercase I will remove so that we will have the original uh, fonts. So I'm going to save file, save. So let's refresh it. So it will be like this. I told you there are many font families are there, right? Um, so, uh, so the details actually you can look at, uh, you know, there are some already defined combinations are there you to choose from. So that uh, details you can take it. So I have put a link for that. And then uh, font style. Now, for example, you can specify as font style. You can say italic. So this will affect uh, the way it is represented. Now, for example, now you can see the whole text within the div is italics. Right, and then font size. So this is the default font size I told you, right? Uh, so font size, uh, so the default size I told you is 16. So if you say 40 pixels, so that's actually the large font, right? You see the large size uh, or else we can have 2.5 EM, it'll be the same. So let me put 2.5 EM. So hopefully we'll have the same same size, right? Oh, one EM is the default size. Go back to original font size. Yes, it'll be the uh, the same size. So you can play around, and and depend on the requirements, uh, you can use either absolute size of the font or relative size. Okay. So when you have a uh, links, uh, there are different things you can think about this. Um, for example, uh, you can, when you have a link, you can talk about, um, you know, different states, right? So the normal link. Um, so for example, we will have normal link unvisited link we know that it's usually in blue color and when you click it when you visit it it changes the color right and when you go over or when you just click on it what should happen so all these we can define with different states so a colon here not the dot it's colon Right, so that define different states of uh, a link, right? So you can have a link, a visited, a hover, and a active. So these are the different states you will have with the uh, links. So let me show you some colors with this example and see what will happen, right? Um, so let me go back to my original example. So here, so let me increase the size of the font so that it will be clear. Now we have a link here. Uh, and then 
uh, we have already removed this, right? Uh, we have already uh, text decoration none, we'll remove this. So I'm going to define the link in red. So if you want to define the link in red, so I'm going to define a, uh, and then I can say link. And then I can say, okay, the color is red. So what will happen here? So the link, when you press uh, save it and refresh it, you see that now the color of the link is in red, right? And I have not visited this yet. When we visited this color has, color will change. Right now, let's say I want to change the color when I when I mouse over the link. So in that particular case, you can change the color by changing this. So H. So the state we have. So we will change the color to a new color, let's say hot pink. Now what we should expect is, so when you refresh it, nothing will happen. But if you go on top, you see that there's a color change. Yes, there's a color change. Yes, so likewise, you can change this the status, right? So make a note of that. So it's very, very important. So for example, uh, when we go on top of this, we can change the background. Now, for example, I can say something like this. Background, color, light green. Yes, you can try. So, uh, let me refresh this. Now there's a change. You see how the links has actually changed, right? So there are many, very many ways. I think you should try those, okay? Okay, let's move on to the slides again. So that's about the uh, links. You can change the color. Okay, so the next one is you can put into a uh, links as uh, you know buttons so this is to show you how a link could be changed into a button right so let me go one by one to make it um, a, a button right so let's start so i will use the same thing to demonstrate my previous link into a button so here is what I have right now in like this, right? Uh, so I'm going to modify this link. First of all, decoration none, you know what has happened. Let me remove this one as well, nothing is there. So originally our link should be like this, right? Uh, for the time being, let me get the link to the top so that it's uh, clearly visible to you. I'm going to get the link on the top. Right. Now we will have. So this is the link. Normally it's a blue color with the underline. The right now we know how to remove the underline. We will say text decoration we say none which what will happen it will remove the the underline here and then we we know from the border we can put some value space here so we will put some padding okay before that let me put some background color so i will put some background I will use the same color I actually put in this example. So that is 
if uh, 44, 3, 3, 3, 6. So see what will happen if you refresh this. So you have a, some, some background color. Uh, the text color does not match. So because of that, I will put the text color as white. Yes, so this will be white now. And now I'm going to put some padding around this. Padding means spaces. Remember we discussed in the box model, right? So we can make a space around the content. Yes, so I'll put some padding. Right, if I put padding 25 pixels, Yes, all everywhere it will add 25 pixels. So this will be like this, but then my preference is from the top and bottom, I'm going to leave less. So I'm going to say 14 pixels when I press S. So you see we have less space in between. And then I'm going to center this. Yes, I will say, okay, text align. That also we discuss. Uh, center. Right. Press S. Um, and how you are going to represent this? We are going to have a display. For example, we know we have, we can represent something as inline or a block. So we can say display inline. Right. So with that one, so we will have this, right? So you will see that now this is looks really nice. Looks like a, you know, the button to click. Right. Okay. So let's move to the next one. Uh, let's move to look at uh, how we can work with the list. From HTML, we have discussed there are different types of lists available ordered lists, unordered list, and so on. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, let's uh, look at, uh, you know, change of uh, styles. So for example, list style type, you can use it to change the marker, or you can include an image, right? So that is also possible, you can try right, uh, by adding those. So those are the changes that you can actually do with lists. And then uh, you can also discuss where to put the details. That means bullet points, whether the bullet points, whether you need outside. So that's what it says, list style position outside. So that will be outside of the block there or you can have it inside so that means this is inside so the, these are the changes of markers how you may actually put into lists uh, if you put list style none so this is very very important because uh, when we are going to create uh, especially uh, um, the links especially in the website links so we will create uh, list items as uh, you know some unordered list, and then we will say list type is none, right? You can actually may change this, right? So we can remove marks and bullets. So it's very very important. So let me show you now one example. So let me put uh, some lists. Now, for example, let's say I have some links. I'm going to say unordered list. I'm going to say ul slash ul and then I'm going to put some list items. Let's say home 
slash li about us slash li resources slash li contact us slash li so if i put a list like this we couldn't see the source file sir let me put in the screen so let me say i'm going to have this i put a list home about us resources contact us if i save this and if you refresh it you will see like this bullets now the point that we make is if you want to remove the points bullets here so simply you go to styles and here we want to change the way that are not list appears so we can put list style type so that can make it to none right so when you refresh it you will see the spaces like this now you can remove margins just see what will happen so you remove some margins so you see that the content is packed up right and then we can also say padding is zero so you see that the spaces is removed right so it will be the top left hand side okay so that's about the lists and i will uh, talk about the list again when we need it um, now let's uh, switch to uh, css tables now we know that how to create a table right so in this example let me go to creating a table we know that creating a table could be done by creating table could be done by typing table and then you can have slash table right and then usually if you have a header uh, we will have table rows first and then we have table headers so let's say first again this is a example given in the in the note so that's the header so that's the end of the first line then the next row we'll say td we'll say peter td td griffin slash td slash tr tr td we have lois so td uh, td again griffin slash td slash tr so that's what we have so in that particular case if you i save it if i refresh it we will get the output like this right so let me save it as a separate page maybe i will rename it as let's say css test 3 yes and then I will remove these so that I will have only the table so that it's very clear to you. So this is what I have. And then let's remove everything in style as well so that we have a compact one. So this is what I'm going to have. Right now, let me open CSS3 file. Right, this is what we have. Let me increase the size a bit so that it's clear to you, right? Now, this is what I have. Now, 
you see that uh, usually if you do not put a border line you don't see any lines at all yes so because of that we can put the border for table th and td for everything uh, so we can say table th td so all the three elements we are going to make it a border so the the css rule is we are going to define a border one pixel solid black when you specify like this you will see you will have double lines here because it will go around the table as well as each header as well as td right so if you want to make it to a single border then you should put it as border collapse we can say collapse so what happens here when you say uh, the collapse so these borders will put into a single border so like this right then the length of this you know, for example table we can define the length as for the table i can put it separately i can say okay width should be 100% yes we can say 100% in that particular case you see that it's adjusted to the full width of this and then you can specify the the height of uh, the header usually you can increase the size so for example i can put th then i can say okay height let me put in pixels 50 pixels let's control s so you refresh so you see the you can change the size so you see that uh, or everything can be changed with uh, CSS. So make, you can look at like how, what are the other ways of, you know, changing the look and feel of, you know, the tables. Now then you can actually change uh, the way the things are represented. Now, for example, uh, text alignment, you know, for example, here, usually TH, that means the headers are center lined. But say, let's say you want to change it. Let's say I want to text the line to left. So when you text a line to left, what will happen? So irrespective of whether it's a header, so it's a line to left, right? So let me refresh. So that's what will happen. Okay, so that's about the table changes. Right. Now, when you want to mouse over this table, let's say you want to change the colors. Right. So for example, if you want to do this, so the, the trick is we will put uh, TR over which means we'll go around so let me change the background you can put it like this so this is over yes you can refresh it now you see that when I move, I don't know whether you can clear. So if you I want, I can put some red color. So let me put red. If you refresh it, you see color has changed. You can change the way it goes. Now sometimes uh, actually, you can change how the table display, not whole. 
uh, for example, um, we can define like this uh, for every other, that means odd ones, if you want to change this. So we can say TR nth child even ones, we will define the background separately. So let me see green. So if you refresh it, you will see the green because it's uh, even numbers we said, right? Uh, if you have another line, then you will have a different color. So let me uh, copy paste the two lines again so that uh, we have four lines, sorry. So I'll put the same. So in this can, if you refresh it, you can see that uh, the even lines, that means this is a row number one, this is two, three, four. That means two and four in green. Right. And when you mouse over, that will color change to red as well. Okay. So that's about how to uh, make on the the changes to uh, the table. Okay. Right. Any questions from what we have discussed so far? No questions? Okay, then we will have a small break. And then uh, after the break, we'll continue with the uh, remaining CSS. Right? So the time is about 2.30 now. Um, shall we say around uh, Okay, so let's uh, continue uh, the discussion. So the next thing we are going to look at is um, use of uh, layouts in CSS. Um, for example, this is very, very important uh, when you want to lay it out uh, the things. So how exactly you are going to display. So display property uh, decides like how you are going to display the elements. Now, for example, there are two main um, display uh, values we used uh, called block and inline. Now, block level means uh, whenever it will start with a new line and then it will take the full width, right? Uh, for example, if you take uh, div headers, 
uh, paragraphs, forms, headers, footers, sections, all these comes under block level elements. Inline means uh, it will not start any new line uh, and whatever the amount of uh, space needed will take. Now, for example, span, uh, E and image, that means anchor and images are the examples for uh, inline displays. Right. Now, if you want to, you know, hide something, right? So we can use display none, right? Which means, remember we told, discussed that uh, we can use block or inline. If you put none, right, uh, is uh, we can use it to hide, right? Um, so for example, h1 dot uh, hidden, we can say display none and then the hidden state we can, uh, uh, you know, define. So likewise, we can use visibility hidden. Um, so this is also could be used uh, as earlier, but there's a problem. The space will be uh, remain, right? Um, so two ways of doing this. Right, so you can always change the way things define now, for example, list items. So usually uh, uh, we will start always with a uh, uh, new line, but you can say in line, things will change, right? Now the default display means like if you take list items, usually the default value is block, right? But that you can change. Uh, for example, uh, if I can take uh, list items and then you can change it in line, which will change the way it is displayed. Likewise, you can change now anchor, that means link, for example, they take it as an inline. But they, you can change it to uh, as a block level element, right? So depend on how you want to, uh, you know, see something in the display. So you can use, uh, you know, different values. Now, when it comes to layout, uh, especially in website and so on, this display property is used and there are different ways of doing this as well. Now, for example, nowadays, uh, Flexbox uh, display things as a Flexbox is quite common. Right, now let's look at the positioning on values. Um, so this position is a property that we use to specify the positioning methods. Uh, and then uh, that means when you have multiple items you want to arrange laying out, you can use different positional values. So static, relative, fixed, absolute and sticky, right? Uh, so when it comes to positioning, we can use uh, different properties like uh, top and bottom and left and right. Uh, but first of all, you have to say what is the position property, right? And depend on this uh, position property, then uh, these uh, places will work differently, right? Now, for example, uh, we can define um, the default value is uh, normally static, right? When you say static, it will not affected uh, if you use top, bottom, left and right properties, right? Uh, so there's no change. So for example, if you say div and static, so there means div and class static. So the div static means position you say static and then you are giving a border. And then uh, element with relative, it's relative to normal position that affects uh, top bottom and also left properties, you can use it. So depend on how exactly we are going to do. 
So then we can say the position relative and then left you specify it as a 30 pixels and then there'll be a board. So when you say position fixed, uh, so that means it's fixed place or sometimes you know that when we can uh, scroll the page, you can go from top to let's say bottom, uh, but the element will be in the same place, right? So the position fix, and then we define uh, the bottom and right values. So remember the, the four values, top, right, bottom, and left. So the, in this particular case, we specify bottom zero and right and zero width, and then we'll specify a border. So depend on the element place, so that will be fixed. Right. Okay. So when you look at, uh, you know, two div elements, so we here we have one is a relative, one is absolute, right? So the relative position, it's position relative with this specified as 400 height is, uh, you know, you put at uh, 200, right? And then there's another one we call the absolute, which means we specify it as absolute position then we define the top and right values. The right value is zero, top is 80 pixels. So which means we have 80 pixels here and then right margin is zero. So width will be uh, 200 and height will be 100, right? And there will be the border on line. So these are the, 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 the two values, right? div inside another div. Then you can use sticky. Um, that means uh, the place is based on where you are when you're scrolling. Uh, and then that means it changes between the, the relative and fixed position, uh, depend on where you are. And um, uh, so uh, it will stick in a particular place, right? Based on the viewpoint, right? So uh, sticky uh, position is sticky and then top is zero, right? Uh, but the problem is uh, sometimes some uh, browsers will not support this one, right? So you have to, uh, uh, you know, to support different uh, formats, you have to have uh, different fixes to be used. For example, Safari, uh, you have to use uh, WebKit a prefix, right, uh, to handle this. Then you can also use float and clear. Uh, so when it comes to two elements together, like image and a text, so how you are going to put things together? Uh, and for example, in which side you want to have a particular element. So that part we will discuss on the float and clear. And the float property is uh, used uh, for the positioning and formatting, right? Um, as I told you earlier, so image is to the left of the text container. So when you say float, you can have uh, left property right property, none, and inherits, right? So uh, none means it will not fall, so that's a default value. Inherit means a float value, uh, it's taken from the parent. Now here are some examples, so that you can see one side we have image, so it says float and left. So it will say left side of this and the text uh, around the image. Whereas the second one, we have float right, which means the, the image in the right hand of side, the text is around them. When you say none, so you will have image and then you have text here. 
So next we have to look at the clear property. Uh, for example, clear property can have none, left, right, and both and inherits, right? So common ways, yes, you use uh, clear property when you use a float property on an element, right? So image is float to the left, then you should clear the left, right? So that uh, depends on where the floats are. So that's why it says uh, you clear property after you use a float property on a particular element, right? And you should match clear with the float. Right, couple of divs here. So you see we have div one. Uh, it's a floats left. And then you have div two. Div three, it's for float left. And then we will say a div four, it's clear left. I told you because div three, there is a float into the left. So you clear the left. Right, now let's uh, look at the uh, website laying out. Um, we know that when you want to lay out, it could be an application. In your case, you are going to make it as a, not really as a website, but as an application interface. But then anyway, you might have headers and footers, although the internals might be changed. Uh, so to represent the, the way something is represent the website, the earlier is actually use of divs with the IDs. For example, HTML4, it uses different divs and we renamed as uh, the IDs as headers, menus, content, and so on. Whereas when it comes to HTML5, we have a special set of tags allocated for this which means we ha can have header, navigation, selection, article and footer. So these are the, some of the, the tags we could use to laying out the website. Okay, so let's uh, start with the example. So let me take a new one. Let me share my Right, screen. So let's start with the uh, saving as. I'm going to make it as CSS4 this time. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to remove everything so that uh, we are going to discuss from the beginning. So this is the fourth example on CSS and I'm going to explain that. So let me uh, first of all share the document. So let me share the second screen. So this is what I'm going to discuss um, where we can use the documents. Right, now having said that, what I'm going to explain here is uh, to laying out. We know that once we have the body, uh, we can talk about how to laying out things. So, so usually we have a couple of things. I'm going to list with the header, for example. We can say header and then we can have slash header. Right, so I will start with the example. So I'm going to specify this as H1. We have Monday times, the example given in the note. Yes, when I save it, you know that uh, that's the header we have. We specify header. Then usually that's the header. After the header, usually you will have a set of links. Uh, that is navigation. 
So let me put nav and then we will end with nav. And then for this one, I'm going to make use of another list. So we will say ul slash ul. And then we will put a couple of links. Let's say I'm going to have news. And then uh, we will have sports. And then we have weather. Uh, it will make it as a list. So if you again refresh it, now you will see this is uh, what I have. I made a mistake here. I uh, So that's why we have an extra bullet point. Now then we'll have a new section. I will put this uh, uh, as a section. So let me put it as a section. It's end with section. So under the section, um, let me make it as H2 header. And then let's say I'm going to have news. So I'm going to say news article, news section. And under this, I'm going to have a couple of articles under section. So we can say article. So we have article. And then here we have, let's say H2. Uh, we will say news article. Right. So there will be some text so that we want to put. So I put some text here for the time being I put some dots. So likewise, I can have a couple of articles. So let me uh, copy this again, this article one, and let me paste again. So which means at least let's say I have two articles, right? And at the end, I'm going to have the footer and end with slash footer. And footer means what is at the end usually copyright uh, information. I'm, let me make it a paragraph. Uh, this is copyright uh, symbol. Then let me say the exactly what we have. And we have slash p. So now if I uh, refresh it out, this is exactly what I have. Nothing much when you look at the structure. But we know that uh, from the Gmail, what we did is we structured using what we have defined. Now let me go one at a time to define how this style should look like. So I'm going to change the way it actually displayed. So one at a time. Uh, so, right, uh, um, so uh, example, I can change starting from the body, how the, the characters look like. So let me start with the body first. So in the within the style, I'm going to change the font family. That means the, the letters that we use. And the font size, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than what is existing. So that's why we use uh, 0 0.9. So by doing so, you can see now when you refresh, uh, the font is has actually changed from what we had earlier. Right. Now let's uh, make it uh, the change headers and footers. So that means we have both header and footer, I can change it. So
so i can say header and footer both so both of header and footer first of all i am going to make it the background color as black right and then make sure that your color is visible so i will make color is white right so that's i have done so see what will happen now so we have changed the headers and footers and then we put some values now you see that around this it's um, not uh, uh, when you look at it it looks not look very nice because there's no spacing so i'm going to add some padding so um, here we will say padding 10 pixels around this now we know it will add up the padding and look will be it will be look nice compared to uh, you know previously so you see that padding will give you more you know space around the the text Okay, now we will look at uh, this one, changing this, uh, uh, what we have here is the links. So that I think uh, we can actually, uh, you know, change this. Uh, so the way it look like. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, you know, change, um, uh, the, how the look like. Now for that is actually what I'm going to change in the style is navigation. So what I can say is navigation. And then um, um, within navigation, I can talk about the UL and, and within that I can talk about the list items. So for the list item, what I'm going to do is right now, we know that list item is a block level element. So I make it inline. So, so I'm going to say display inline because now see what will happen when you say inline. Yes, it comes like this. So early it was like uh, the list that you will see, right? So it has actually changed inline changes. And I will give you some spacing. I will give you some margin around this. So let me put margin, some space in between margin, right? So margin, I'm going to put uh, five pixels. So if you refresh now, you see there will be a space around this one. Right, so that's uh, the navigation bar. Uh, but you see, there are some lot of spaces here because of the padding. So I'm going to remove. So remember, this is uh, because of uh, the unordered list. So you have to remove that one. So basically, we will get the navigation by UL. So under this, we are going to remove the padding. So I can say, okay, padding. Uh, and then we can say zero. Since zero, you don't have to specify anything. So when you refresh it, now you will see that it start from the very beginning and looks nice. Uh, so it's like uh, you have uh, the menu items. Okay, now let's uh, look at the section wise, we'll, we'll uh, change this. Um, so. So the section wise, I'm going to change a little, giving a different color. So let me check uh, section. So in this particular section, uh, first of all, let me change the background color. So I'm changing the background color to light gray. 
so that it will clearly visible we have black and white so this is whole uh, section uh, we will have gray color again around this text we need some uh, you know spacing so i will put some margin and padding values so i will go to section put some margin so i will make it 5 pixels let's see what will happen yes a little bit more space you will see it here that is the margin around this one now then we will put padding we have 10 pixels so it will padded up 10 pixels so you see how it look like now looks much better than what we have earlier so that's about the sections now let's work on the articles how should articles looks like for the articles then let me change article so in this particular case i will make a margin uh like in previous case 5 pixels and padding like 10 pixels uh, let me say background as white so that now you can see how this looks like the articles so you see that uh, the use of uh, you know laying out or giving colors using css i hope you get some clear idea there are a lot to do actually although uh, we have not enough time to go through everything but i guess uh, you got the basics of uh, css right having said that uh, we'll uh, come to the uh, end of the theory for today uh, what is left is, uh, let me quickly go to uh, units and then we'll complete. Let me quickly show where we have stopped. Yes. Um, I want to finish this uh, discussion uh, by briefly looking at the different units. Now, when we talk about the different sizes, I think the commonly what we use is the pixels, right? So uh, approximate uh, measurement is, uh, you can think of the size of the pixel is as uh, 196th of one inch. So that's the pixel height usually we will use. But if you use points like in Word, Word documents usually when we say start a document, the size will be about 10 points. So that is actually uh, 172 of, uh, you know, uh, inch. So that means if you put 72 points, so if you use 72 point when you type something and if you uh, measure the height that will be exactly one inch so likewise we have inches you can specify centimeters millimeters and even pcas so these are the you know possible lengths but most commonly we will use uh, pixels right uh, for the measurements uh, then relative length units uh, there are many again as well but emphasis we have em uh, uh, that means relative to the font size element this is the uh, the commonly used one and then you should uh, you know know exactly how to use it now for example 2 em uh, means you have to so that means two times of the size of the current font so today we have discussed uh, so normally browsers the default size is 16 pixels so in, if you take that in, so one EM is 16 pixels, right? So then I think you can calculate uh, the number of pixels depending on the values, right? But that could be changed. Okay.
so having said that uh, that's uh, all from the the theoretical session um and then i think for the time being i'll have uh, we are not going to do any um, you know uh, group work as such but i think uh, you can find time to work it as a group later on but the very first thing you should do is come up with a proper description of the project as well as identify users and their functions so i will extend the deadline about a week i hope that time is enough for you guys anything else that you want to discuss So can you share the Alexa slides in the LMS? Okay, if you have no questions, then we'll uh, finish for today. Yeah. So can uh, you share the Alexa slides? Next week session, we are going to start with the, the JavaScript one. So we are going to look at. by the time i might uh, be be able to briefly uh, you know introduce uh, a framework on this but let's see how things goes on right so having said that uh, we'll finish for today and small work on css i will put in uh, the lms but i think you can work on your the project work uh, especially uh, you should be able to design the interfaces and then implement uh lecture notes yes i will share the uh, the lecture slides definitely in the where i will put it and and also the recorded uh, video uh 